to a cool night here in Farmville, Virginia from the Longwood Athletic Complex. It's Gardner-Webb, 6-4-2, and two, Longwood, 3-5-3. Three, three. Big South play tonight rolls on. This Big South broadcast on ESPN Plus being brought to you by Hercules Tires, right on our strength. Visit HerculesTires.com. By Sunbelt Rentals, we have equipment for that. By First Citizens Bank, Forever First. And by Jersey Mike's, a sub above. Welcome back to Farmville, Virginia. Ready now for our starting lineups for both Gardner-Webb and Longwood, brought to you by Sunbelt Rentals. Checking out the lineup for the running Bulldogs, entering tonight at a mark of 6-4-2 and two, and 1-1 one and one in the Big South. Chloe Leffler won to watch in front of the goal tonight. She will take her 40-plus save out there. The starting lineup for the Longwood Lancers, brought to you by Sunbelt Rentals. Mary-Kate Lavish in front of goal for Longwood. She will take her 60-plus saves out onto the pitch tonight. Kirsten Juhas, Caroline Leidecker, Elena Palmer, our player to watch, Savannah Knoll, Alex Dinger, Amanda Arnone, all middies there, Noel Dinger, Arnone, and Palmer. Sydney Robertson at Ford, who had an electric game last match here at home, last Wednesday against... Presbyterian, Allen University in Columbia, South Carolina. Lavish has to be ready. She is, gets down and takes it away from Livy Tanzer. For Mary-Kate Lavish. Here's another look. You'll see Tanzer here. Locked right on her was Caroline Leidecker. Effort that was off from Jack Cola, but it's funny how all these stats kind of find their way back. Corner kick right in front. This is Turlington who has a goal on the corner kick by Karina Leal. Leal from the corner, linking up with Maddie Turlington who has her 14th goal of 2022. Turlington right at the doorstep of the goal. And look at her with the delicious footwork that time to rattle the back of the netting Maddie Turlington once more for the senior from Roanoke Texas this team ultimately looks at Kira Gibson along with Chloe Leffler to work in front of the goal this season Leffler will have it again on the bounce and the shot from Alex Dinger right in the middle of the center circle Woodard up ahead quickly to Sutherland. Sutherland directs her way back around Palmer. And this will be Sutherland with an effort, but she collides with Dinger. And so that made the job a little bit easier there for Mary-Kate Lavish as that one rolled weakly to Lavish in a match. Here's Sutherland. Gets her way around Dinger. Woodard is there. Autumn Woodard takes it on. Woodard on the move. Slows it up, gets it ahead to Turlington. Maddie Turlington just passed. Lavish took a spill as well. That's the one-two punch for Gardner-Webb right there. Maddie Turlington and Autumn Woodard. That'll work out sometimes over the course of a match where the two best on the team almost shook hands for a goal. Look at that. Up to Turlington. It was just passed. Credit Lavish again. Looks like Mike Varga for Gardner-Webb actually kept referencing that last match against UNC Asheville. You could tell this Gardner-Webb team wanted to get right back onto it. Here's Maddie Turlington. Turlington is always ready for a goal, and Turlington has her second of the match. Head coach Mike Varga just looking back over <laughs> towards his sideline and gave a little look like, wow, did you see that? We did. Maddie Turlington has two on the evening, 15 on the season. Here's how she did it, draped by Gualiano defensively and then powered past Lavish. Scott Longwood and Gardner-Webb here with you tonight. Time now for our halftime stats brought to you by First Citizens Bank. Gardner-Webb leading 2-0. Maddie Turlington, both of the goals here tonight for Gardner-Webb. And you see Overfelt, who has five shots, three of those shots on goal. She's been active in there. Uh, two coming in, so many offensive playmakers for Gardner-Webb, but Turlington, of course, is just, uh, she's otherworldly. She's lights out 
Mary-Kate Lavish has two saves, so she will look to turn away a couple more efforts in the second half. Look to get Longwood back on the, uh, the chart here with some wins, maybe one tonight. And Kirsten Juhas, always a pretty active offensively for Longwood as well. She has a shot uh, for the Lanchers, but it's Gardner-Webb ahead 2-0. Uh, Alex Dinger, actually, one player. Maddie Turlington was one as well. One for either side who were nominated for Offensive Player of the Week coming in, actually, in the Big South. So, again, they're not listed there, but ones to watch. Of course, Turlington is, but it's uh, been a good match so far through the first 45 minutes. Austin's first true good chance of the night for Leffler to maybe pick up a save here. Juhas from the corner. A mile high. Second effort, right in front, misdirected, and right back to Leffler as Carly Minson found herself right in front of Leffler as Julia Gill fed it away. Check it out here. You'll see Gill track it down. Then Gill, nice delivery to Minson. Fans here tonight gathered at the Longwood Athletic Complex. Got a little... Up in, uh, up in arms about that one. The, uh, the decibel level raised a little bit. Here's Autumn Woodard. Woodard got past her defender. Woodard, though, had it knocked out of bounds as Longwood defensively with Brooke Bonner. Looked like Woodard, I think, just kind of developed right in front. Wow. Woodard, if not for Bonner, would have had a pretty clean shot on goal. This is dangerous right now, though, for Longwood. Here's Turlington and Woodard almost in the exact same zip code. Maddie Turlington now. She's got two on her. Emma Jones, one. Turlington fires from behind and gets it right to the hands of Mary-Kate Lavish. You can find the best variety of officially licensed merchandise in conference and school-branded items at BigSouthStore.com. You're up with some new apparel or find that perfect gift. Get fully equipped. All of your game day fun. Find it at Big South Store. Dot com. Hercules tires, strong move of the match. And you'll see it on the Leal corner kick and in Turlington. Pass Lavish for the goal. And also got it, got it past Lydecker. Another look. One more time. Look at this. From the corner. And then Turlington gathered it back. Hands to the sky. And uh, first one there to meter was Lescano. 